Hello everybody, in this video I will talk about how to set the IP for your interface, a Wi-Fi or the Ethernet uh, using the BAT file. Sometimes you need to remove or set IP for one of the interfaces and uh, when you work as a system admin or network administrator uh, you may need to change the IP frequently or many times in a short time so it is annoying to change the IP through the control panel come in here right click go to properties and go to protocol version 4 and set the IP this will take time and annoying so uh, there is an easy and quick way to do this using bat file so let's create the bat file what you do you uh, open a notepad i will open a notepad quick uh, the first line you have to write add echo off and then we have a, a command called netsh then interface IP version 4 set what you set the IP address you just need to write the address and then the name of the interface you want to set the IP a double quotation and for example we want to set the IP for the Wi-Fi you have to write exact the same as it is and to do this uh, I think it's better to right click rename and copy the name of the interface you want to set the IP paste it here close the quotation and then write static and uh, in this part you have to write the IP address for example I want to set the IP to 192.168.125 for example and after that you have to have the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 after this space the gateway 192.168.11 for example and uh, in order to set the DNS you have to write another line so press enter add echo of net interface IP version 4 and set the DNS for which interface you have to write the interface name I have it in copy clipboard and then write the IP address static 192.168 for example 110 is your DNS after that you have to save the file you go to file save and for example set static IP I give it this name and in order to make it as a bat file write dot bat and uh, it is better to put them all in between two double quotation and then I will save it on the desktop click save and let me close this and let's check it out before we use our bat file we see we don't have a static IP so when you run your bat file uh, it will assign the IP automatic each time you run this file uh, in order to make this file work you have to run it as administrator so right click run as administrator click yes and boom done you have the IP on your interface as you see same like the the settings you already put it in your bat file all right let's say we want to remove the uh, 
IPs on this interface and make it uh, as a DHCP. Uh, you can do it uh, the same way using the bat file. Open a notepad and write at echo of and the command is netch interface IP version 4 and set the address for the interface I have it in my keyboard paste it and then <coughs> instead of writing the IP addresses we just write source write DHCP dynamic host uh, so this will assign uh, or remove the IP address and assign a DSCP IP on the interface. The same way for the interface you have to write uh, another line netch interface IP version 4 DNS or before that set DNS for which interface for the Wi-Fi and it's better to paste it and same as the IP address write source DHCP the same way we save the file save we can rename remove IP name the file as a remove IP or make it set DHCP IP dot bat quotation double quotation and in the beginning double quotation click save now we have another file and before we use it check it we have a IP version 4 static and now we want to remove it right click on this file run as administrator click yes and uh, it's identifying check it out as you see the IP has been removed and again you give it a, a static IP right click run as administrator click yes check it out you see the IP is there so you have uh, two files one to set the static IP and one to remove and you can have as many as possible you want for example uh, you can have uh, different IP addresses file and run them uh, when you need them thank you for watching and uh, see you next time